To begin, I have a base map open on the canvas area where I would like to conduct the swept path analysis. You will notice the vehicle button here on the tools palette. When you click that, it opens up the vehicle library. For this tutorial, I am using the US version of the software. The library therefore consists of all vehicle design dimensions from the American Association of State Highway Transportation Officials, or AASHTO. Rapid Path has a number of different vehicle libraries available, depending on which country or industry you are operating in. There's a few aspects of the vehicle library that I'll run through that might assist with your workflow. You could bookmark any frequently used vehicles by right clicking and selecting bookmark vehicle. This will place the vehicle at the top of the list. To remove the bookmark, simply right click and select remove bookmark. Alternatively, you can hide any vehicles from the library by right clicking and selecting hide vehicle. Hidden vehicles can then be shown by clicking show hidden vehicles. They're greyed out but can then be unhidden by right clicking and selecting hide vehicle again. For this tutorial, I will select the A bus, articulated bus, to use for my analysis. Once a vehicle is selected, a preview of the vehicle is shown in the right hand panel. Below the vehicle are a series of values and dimensions specific to that vehicle. The overall values show the length and the width of the vehicle, which are constant and cannot be changed. These remaining values can be adjusted. The lock to lock time is the time that it takes a driver to turn the steering from the maximum angle in one direction to a maximum angle in the opposite direction in a single continuous movement. In most standards, this is listed at six seconds, but the default value can be changed. The steering angle is the angle between the front of the vehicle and the steered wheel direction. This value is different for all vehicle makes and models. The value shown is the maximum angle the steering wheel can be turned when the vehicle is stopped. You may want to adjust this creating your own custom vehicle or running a simulation on a vehicle that's not currently available in the library. These turning radius values are dependent on the maximum steering angle. If I decrease the maximum steering angle, the turning circle for the vehicle increases. This section of the dialogue shows the dimensions of the vehicle, front, wheelbase and rear. As you can see, when each section is selected, it is highlighted here in red. If the vehicle has additional components, such as a trailer, you can select it from the menu and view, or adjust its dimensions here. Once you are ready to place your vehicle on the canvas area, click Add. In our next tutorial video, we'll step through drawing a path for the vehicle.